Why is it gangs in this community? Because there's a Christian church down there teaching it don't matter what Jesus looked like. Matter of fact, there's two, three churches down there on the same corner, right beside each other, teaching that it doesn't matter what color Jesus looked like. But you got gangs in the community. Single parent in households. We're here to try to fix that today. But the people got to be willing to what? Listen. All right. So do you understand what we're doing in spiritual? How you doing, OG? What's up? What's your name, man? Reginald. All right, my name Ben Zion. Do you understand what we out here doing? Now you do. So listen to this. This is what God got a message for you. Listen. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. So God said if the Israelites do what? Sin against God. Let me ask you, OG. What is sin? There's a lot of things in there. Name me some of them. Fornication. Killing. Rape. Rob. Cheating on your wife. That's adultery. Right. So those are sin. And God said, if they sin against thee. Now we're going to read in the Bible what God says sin is. The book of First John. Chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. So the Bible says that whosoever committed sin, transgressive, also the law. We break God's laws. How y'all sisters doing? Look, young sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all got a minute for God. Give God five minutes, sis. Five. We out here for y'all. And there's something going to blow your mind. Get some education. Listen. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. All right? So go back to First Kings. What's your name, little sis, in the pink? What's your name? What's your name? Don't be shy. What's your name? Her little friend right here. What's your name? Soraya. All right. So I'm going to talk to you, Soraya. All right. So we out here showing our people that we are the greatest people on earth, OG. That we are the Israelites. We God-chosen people. This is what this block is, is missing. You understand? We don't know who we are. We suffer from our identity crisis here in Chicago and throughout the whole world. And this is the route to black on black crime. First knowing who your Lord and Savior look like. What he talk like. Listen. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. So if God's people break his laws, listen. For there is no man. That sin is not. For there is no man that don't sin. We all have fallen into sin. Listen. And they'll be angry with them. You see, God got angry with us. How you think we ended up in Chicago? How you think we ended up in Mississippi? How you think we ended up in Tennessee? How you think we ended up in Florida and Georgia? In Wisconsin? Because God got angry with us. Come on. We sinned against God. And deliver them. To the enemy, and we got delivered to our enemies. Give me that right there. How do, come here. I want y'all to see this. They're taking this out of the public schools, but we're going to bring it to you live and in color today. All right, come let's look at this. See, uh, Sierra? No, uh, what, what's your name? Soraya. Come look at this picture. Read it again. And if thou be angry with them, see, God got angry with us, and what God do? And deliver them. To the enemy. How was we delivered? How did we come to America, brother? On ships, right? You see that right there? That's how we got here. Let me get around here. So I don't feel right. This is how we got here. All right? Excuse me. All right? You see this right here? This is how we got here. Look at this one, too. All right? And we was delivered on cargo slave ships. Come on. So that they carried them away captives. We was carried away captive, OG. Listen. Unto the land of the enemy. Unto where? Unto the land of the enemy. What is Chicago? Unto the land of the enemy. We was brought to the lands of the enemy, bro. Listen. Far or near, yet if they shall bethink themselves. So we got to stop right there. This is why the brother had to tell the young brother what Jesus looked like. And a lot of people don't understand the importance of what your Lord and 
Savior looked like. Why is it gangs in this community? Because it's a Christian church down there teaching it don't matter what Jesus looked like. Matter of fact, it's two, three churches down there on the same corner, right beside each other, teaching that it doesn't matter what color Jesus looked like. But you got gangs in the community, single parent in households. We're here to try to fix that today. But the people got to be willing to what? Listen. They got to want to be healed. Our people have been sick for so long, they don't want to be healed. They scared to be healed. They scared Chicago without no murders. They scared of the black man put the gun down, what can happen? Watch this. This is why we're here today. Listen. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. God said if we remember, bro. You got to remember who you are. That's right. That you a king on this earth. Right. You ain't no black man. Black is the color in the crayon box. Right. You ain't African American. That's something the white man Jesse Jackson started calling you. Right. Listen. In the land, whether they were carried captives. We got to remember that we were brought here captives. Right. This ain't our land. Our land is Jerusalem. Right. But we was brought here to what? Serve the white man. It's time for our people to wake up, mama. We here for you. We tired of the game banging. We tired of the drug dealers. We tired of the single parent in the household. Who gonna rise up? Come on. Whether they were carried captives and repent. It's time for black people in Old Black to do what? Repent. It's time for black people to do what? Repent. Joshua 6 is time for them to do what? Repent. It's time for them to do what? Repent. Repent means to turn back. That's right. It's time for y'all to repent and come back to God. And stop crying out to God when things happen, when he's sending you solutions. A lot of people in these uh, uh, in these apartments, Parkway Gardens, y'all been praying, God, send us a solution. Send us an answer. Why can't they stop killing one another? What's wrong with my sons and what's wrong with my daughters? Y'all ask God. God has sent you his answer. God has answered your prayers. But you still don't want to hear it though. Right. Come on. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned. We got to confess to the Lord that we have sinned, Chicago. Right. Things not going to change until you come back to who you really are That's right. and confess unto the Lord that we have sinned. Right. Y'all need to put these sports down, right. put this drill music down. Right. That's killing the community. Right. If y'all gonna rap, rap, rap about something that's uplifting the community. Right. But y'all will listen to it, then cry about it. Right. Y'all will jump around in the streets and listen to it and dance to it. Then when gunshots rang out, y'all crying about it. Right. That's asinine. That's foolish. Right. That's right. You see a new breed of black men out here on your block today. Right. And this is the reason why we're here. To show you that there's something different in the world. Right. You don't have to resort to being a black disciple. You don't have to resort to being a gangster disciple. Right. You don't have to resort to being a four corner hustler. Right. You don't have to resort to being a vice lord. Right. You don't have to resort to being a blood or a crip. Right. You can resort to repenting and coming back to God, law, statutes, and his commandments. Right. How y'all young black brothers doing across the street over there, man? Give me Psalm 94 and 16. You understand? Hey, that brother has a unity. That's what the brother had to say. Come here, bro. Let's talk about some unity, man. Come here, man. Four minutes, bro. Five minutes, bro. Let's talk about the real unity. That's right. It's time for our people to wake up. We want unity for your black community. That's right. But y'all cannot unify because it's hatred in the black community. Right. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it Who will rise up for me? Against the evil door. So God got a question for you right here, brother. God said, you ready to rise up for him against the evil doors? Are we tired of the drug dealers and the gang banging, man? Are we tired of going to a bitch, uh, reading obituaries and going to the motion where is the view bodies? Right. When we going to get tired of putting these uh, teddy bears all around the pole? Right. When we going to get tired of having these candlelight visuals? Bring it up. Every day, every weekend, there's a funeral. Right. When y'all going to get tired? When you gonna get tired, bro? God got a question for you in the White Sox hat. Listen, 
Who will rise up for me? So God said, who going to be a man and rise up? Who going to be a man, bro? Who going to get rid of these gangbangers in your community? Who going to stand up to them? Who's willing to die? You got to be willing to die just like they're willing to kill. And we come out here and we're willing to die today. For our people. Why? Because we love our people. And like brother said, man, we ain't come out to play games with our people. We know we in. We know where we at. Our eyes wide open, our ears wide open. But we got the angels of God with us. And therefore, we have no fear. Listen. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who are the evildoers? The sinners. Who going to rise up against these gangs? The Israelites. Who going to rise up against these single parent households? The Israelites. This is why we're here. Where are your Christian pastors at? Where are your Christian pastors right now? Who's doing what we're doing? Who's tired of it? Let's go. Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up against the BDs? Right. Who's going to stand up against the gangster disciples? Right. Who's going to show them how to love one another once again? Right. Who's going to show them how to forgive one another again? Give me Leviticus right. chapter 19. Right. If we don't apply God's laws in this community, y'all going to continue to die. Right. And we only come out here to warn you. Right. We know you niggas hard headed. Right. We know you hate God. Right. You know we, we understand that. But somebody going to listen today. Right. Somebody going to change today. Because right. we only come out here for one. We know all of y'all ain't going to listen to half the other half. Don't give a damn. Right. Y'all don't understand what we're doing and the power of God and what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing something real serious, man. Because we love Chicago. Right. We love our people in Chicago. Right. We see y'all on the news killing up one another like fools. Right. We see y'all. We understand the pain that y'all going through, man. Right. We understand the bloodshed that y'all keep shedding throughout these streets. But God sending y'all a message. And you got one, you got one choice. That's to repent. Now you got two choices. Repent or die. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What God say? That the BDs what? Thou shalt not Hate thy brother in thine heart. God said what to the GDs? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. From 63rd all the way to 66, what God say? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. How you doing, little sis? Y'all come over here and word of God. We out here for y'all. Because we out here, you know why? Because we tired of the death rate in Chicago. And we got to teach our young men and young little men like this. This is the generation that we must teach to stop the killing. Because a lot of these old niggas out here, they far too gone. But if we can reach the young ones, that's who's going to change. It's going to take you as a mother to change to teach them. Because guess what? If you don't change, who's going to teach the children? That's your beautiful daughter. Give me Titus 2. Listen to this. What's your name? Ariella. That's a beautiful name. What's your name? Desiree, what's your name, little buddy? DJ, my man, what's your name, cutie pie? Ari, that's your daughter? This your son? All praises to the most high. So what we out here, you got beautiful kids. You two are beautiful as well. We out here to do what? To bring a change. We can't be out here every day. But y'all out here every day. It's going to take y'all to change and teach one. Teach somebody else so you can teach them. You don't want your kids to grow up in this madness. I wouldn't. You don't want you want your kids to have better a better life than you. Listen. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. The aged woman. So we're going into the aged woman. You are older. You have children. So it's something that you must do. We was taught to do it wrong. But we got it. We're now we're learning to do it right. You was taught to do it wrong. So now you gotta learn to what? Do it right. Now listen. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. So you got to learn to be in behavior as becoming holiness. Holiness, holiness means to be separate. You got to be different from what you see on TV. Different from the rappers. You can't be like Nicki Minaj. You can't be like Cardi B. 
What's the other rapper name? Glorilla. Y'all like Glorilla up here in Chicago? Y'all be bumping Glorilla? Twerking at the headlights? Y'all be twerking at the headlights? Okay, good, good, good. I'm just saying, y'all listen to that garbage though, right? So that's the first thing you got to do is get rid of the garbage. Right. You can't expect to do better when you're feeding your mind garbage. Right. Your mind is like a sponge. And what you put in your mind by what you see and what you hear is what you're going to, that's what you're going to act like. That's what you're going to portray. Listen, as becoming holiness, so you got to learn behavior as becoming holiness. Come on. Not false accusers. You got to learn not to be false accusers. Cause this is how a lot of murders happen in different cities. Go around false accusing people, point fingers at people. Come on, not giving too much wine. We can't be drunk out here. All right, you can't be getting lit. Turn up. That ain't for you. That ain't that ain't what you're supposed to do. Listen, teachers of good things. Now you gotta teach good things. What is good according to the Bible? What is good? So the Bible said you gotta be a teacher of good things. What else are good things you think you gotta be teaching? Faithful, having faith, what you think? Listening. Okay. Both of those are good answers. But we're going to go to the Bible and show you what God says. Okay, listen. The book of Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. So we're going to Romans 7 and 12 where God is talking about a law. Did you know God gave us a law? He gave us how to live. He gave us uh, what to eat, what to drink. Who to sleep with? Who not to sleep with? God gave us what to do to live, right? He said, what? The law what? The law is holy. Remember he said that you have to be in behavior becoming holiness? So the law is what's going to make you what? Holy. And the commandment. Now, and the commandments is what he requires you to do. You got to do that. It ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Come on. Holy and just. And good. So the commandment is holy, just, and good. So the commandments is holy, just, and good. We just read, he said that you got to be teachers of good things. So what you got to teach? Got to teach the law. Huh? It's more than the Ten Commandments. You got to teach the whole Bible. Yes, the whole Bible. We're not being taught that, sis. And this is what's destroying our community. You got to think it's Christian churches on every community, but what? The community is in turmoil. Christianity, the Christian church ain't teaching us what we're supposed to know out of the Bible. They're teaching us what the white man taught them to teach us. And that was slave obey your master. He wasn't teaching the black man to stay with you if he gets you pregnant. The Christian church ain't teaching that. They teach opposite. Do what the hell you want. Sleep with who you want to sleep with. Everything is good in the blood of Jesus. That's all a lie. And this is why our communities are out of order. Because we teach the black man, you lay down with a woman, he got to do what? He got to marry her. This is what's going to fix O Block. Or uh, the sister got mad when I called it O Block. Parkway God. See what I'm saying? This is what's going to change it. You got to instill it in yourself and instill it in your children first. Listen. The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 4. That they may teach the young women. What's this sister got to do? That they may teach the young women. What's the other sister got to do? Teach the young women. You got to be able to teach the young women what? Holiness. The God's laws. And we're going to get some of God's laws in a minute. Right? To be sober. You got to teach the young women to be sober. Your cousin. Your little cousin now. All them, you got to teach them to be sober. You understand that? To love their husband. You got to get married so you can teach her how to be a wife. You see what I'm saying? It ain't too late. How old are you? 32, it ain't too late. You're 27. But time is winding down. Do you want to be married one day? Yeah, you want to be married, right? You want to be married one day? So what do you think you got to do to be married? What do you think you're going to have to do? Huh? Teach up. Teach her? That's your sister? Okay. So, if you want to be married, you got to do what? As behavior becometh holiness. The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The aged woman. The aged woman. Listen up if you want to be married one day. You can't have no single parent in the household. By you having a little black boy with a single parent in the household, you know that you... Um, 
you greater his chances of going where? To college or prison. By him being having no father. Not in the house with him. He's in the house with him. Well, all praises to the most high. Well, if he's not in the house. So you got to do what you got to do to keep his father in the house. That's right. All right. Because it's going to lessen his chances on going to prison or being dead. You understand that? Because the prison, I think, is 85% full of single parent. Them black men in there come from single parent households. All right. But if you want to keep your man, you want to what? Become holy. That's right. Listen. The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness. That's how you find a husband. Alright? Become in become behavior that, be, that become holiness. Alright, come on. Not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. So that's what's going to make you a good wife. You got to be a teacher of good things. You got to teach her how to cook. I ain't talking about no noodles. Excuse me, no hot dog. You got to get like she said, we burning over here. All right. Every guy got green. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. Listen. And that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. And you got to teach the younger women how to love their children. You know, there's a lot of black women that hate their children. Yeah. How you know they hate them? They don't teach them what God commands them. That's how you know. Just like you hate God. If God tell you to do something and you don't do it, like your father, right? Your father tell you to do something, you don't do it. That means you what? Hate him or love him. All right, so listen. I use me for an example. My father say, boy, don't you go down there selling drugs, hanging with them damn gangsters down there. He telling me that because he what? Hate me or love me. And right. Then if I go down there and do it anyway, that means what? I don't love my daddy. And so disobedience, yeah. So that means you don't love them. Disobedience leads to hate. All right? Because if you love them, you'll do what he say do. Just like that bus coming right now. I say, hey, sister, bus finna hit you. That means I love you. I say, try to save your life. But if you keep walking and that bus hit you, that means you hated what I was telling you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So read that again. The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 4. That up. they may teach the young women. To be sober, to love their husbands. Right, so you got to be taught to love your husbands, not girlfriend and boyfriend. You know there's nowhere in the Bible? Girlfriend and boyfriend is nowhere in the Bible. We're supposed to be married. But the thing we mess up in the black community is that we learn to carry before we marry. And one thing you cannot do is make a man stay with you. But you can control what? What can a woman control? She can't control the relationship. A man can get up and get the hell out of there and go mess with somebody else. But what can she control? Huh? What the man want from you? When he first meets you, just think about it. You walk around with your ass out, this and that. He wants sex from you. If he's not a rapist, who controls the sex? The woman controls the sex. So if a woman want to be married before she carry... Who controls it? The woman controls it. The woman controls her cootie cat. She controls her butt. The man controls if he hits and leaves. And what happens too far too much in our community is a lot of hitting and quitting. Leaving these kids to be raised in these projects, be raised on these blocks. Walking around like monsters, ready to gun one another down. Walking around in a hundred degree weather with a ski mask on and a book pack and a hoodie right. with a Draco ready to kill his own brother. Right. Why? Because of the woman wasn't thinking. Now we're trying to get y'all to think. Listen. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Bring it up. Marriage is honorable. So God said marriage is honorable. Not girlfriend and boyfriend. God don't like girlfriend and boyfriend. Hell, we all used to have girlfriend and boyfriend. But guess what? When we found out we were doing wrong, who all out here married? Raise your hand. Just look around. Who all out here married under the sound of my voice? Raise your hand. Who all out here got a girlfriend? Raise your hand. We had to cut that out. 
because this was destroying our community. Girlfriend and boyfriend destroying our community. Y'all want, hey, do you wish to be married one day, sis? Right here. You don't, why not? See, this was destroying our community. A lot of her, a lot of young black girls feel like that. They hate black men. They don't want to never be married. Why? Because their daddy left them alone out here in these streets. She don't feel protected. So she don't want no protection. She telling herself, I got this. But she really ain't got it. Who's going to protect her when war come? Don't y'all know war coming to Chicago? Yeah, I ain't talking about no damn gang war. I'm talking about thermonuclear fire. It's coming to this place. That's the only way this place going to get right. That's the only way the GD is going to stop battling the BDs. That's the only way the four car hunters going to stop battling the, the vice lords. Right. That's the only way this block going to stop killing that block. Right. God got to burn everybody up and start over. Y'all right. don't believe that? Give me Genesis 6 and 6. And I'm going to go back to marriage. I want y'all to know how serious it is we come out here to warn y'all. God, this happened before on the earth. We're going back to the book of Genesis chapter 6 and maybe start at verse 4 or 5. I want to show y'all evil. This ain't the first time the world been evil like this. This ain't the first time we was killing each other and we didn't give a damn. This is what God said. The book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 4. There were giants in the earth. Verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was very great in the earth. It's like he's looking down now. He's seeing the killing in Chicago. He's seeing the rapists in Chicago. He's seeing all the evil things that happened in Chicago that people cried out to God about and want him to stop. God see the wickedness. Come on. I'm glad you stopped and listened to it, brother. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right, come on. And that every imagi imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. So listen, God seen once before on the earth that every thought in the black man's mind was evil. What do you think drill music? Evil. You listen to drill music? Yeah, you do. It's evil. Yes, hey, hey, I used to listen to it. And guess what you got to do? Come here, sis. Come here. Don't leave. Come here. Don't leave. We get so offended. Drill music is garbage. And you ain't going to make it at no ghetto. You're going to go into some worse. You're going to sell your soul to the damn devil. That's what King Von did. That's what uh, Lil Dirk doing. They sold their soul to the devil. And if they don't repent, they going to die. She get mad I talk about drill music. I said drill music garbage, and I'm going to say it again. Drill music is garbage. Trap music is garbage. If any music rapping about killing other black men and Hispanic men is garbage. If you're not rapping about living and, and, and you rapping about dying, that's what you ought to get. Death. Read. Verse 6. And he repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. And it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I would destroy man. And God going to destroy the Chicago. He said, what? I would destroy man. God going to destroy Chicago. Right. Read. Whom I have created from the face of the earth. From the face of the earth. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good matters. So the Bible says evil communications corrupt good matters. Y'all should be rapping about marriage. Right. Not about how many holes you can hit and get. Right. Come back to Hebrews 13 and 4. Because we come here to build a community up. We ain't come here to play games. We keep telling them, we're going to tell the black man, if you don't marry that black woman, you're going to die. Right. And you might catch syphilis before you die. Right. Right. You might catch herpes before you die. Right. You might catch chlamydia before you die. Right. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.